Systems thinking, why isn't it more widely adopted? Seems as though any time you get a group of systems thinkers together, sooner or later, this is the conversation that, that pops up. Why isn't systems thinking more widely adopted? And, and I figure we've probably been having this conversation for the last 75 years and probably not getting very far in terms of changing the way we go about doing things. I know that personally for decades, as people asked me what I did, and I would begin to tell them, you could see their eyes glaze over as they were asking themselves, why did I ask and how the hell do I get him to stop? I mean, systems thinking is, is so unbelievable trivial. I mean, a system is an entity that maintains its existence through the mutual interaction of its parts and and a system exhibits characteristics not produced by any subset of its parts called emergence. And you, you have to think about the elements and the relationships and the boundaries in the environment. And, and then you have to think about the endogenous variables and the exogenous variables and what influences what. And within the, the boundary of the system, you do analysis and you do synthesis in terms of the, the system in its larger context. And, We've identified all of these habits that one should perform as, and develop and get better at as a systems thinker. And over the years, we've developed several thousand models and methods which have claimed to embrace the systems paradigm. So, you know, what's difficult? Well, out of all of this learning, we produce things like this, which scare the hell out of people. One day someone asked me the same question about what do you do? And I said, we try to figure out how to solve problems so they stay solved and not create new ones in the process. And they said, wow, that's interesting. Tell me more. Well, I didn't know what to say because nobody ever asked for more before. In terms of the ongoing conversation about why systems thinking is not more broadly adopted, systems thinkers are the, pogo, are the poster children for pogos. We have met the enemy and he is us. Though we have continued to consider all kinds of other options in terms of why it's not more broadly adopted, we are the problem. So why don't you uh, drop by Systems Thinking World and register for the Certified Systems Thinker Program and gain a perspective on how systems thinking can be extremely simple and extremely powerful at the same time and eliminate all of this stuff that I've shown you to this point. Take care. See you in another video soon. Bye.